Hello and welcome to this video series on how to do serverless with Knative. Knative allows you to deploy any of your modern application workloads on top of Kubernetes and run them in serverless way. Knative also introduces a simpler programming model on how to build and deploy Kubernetes services. Red Hat OpenShift Serverless is the Red Hat supported version of Knative that allows you to build and deploy serverless event-driven application on top of Red Hat OpenShift. In an earlier video of this series, we saw how to deploy your serverless application. Whenever you deploy a serverless application, Knative Serving creates four types of resources. A service, which manages the lifecycle of your application workload, typically a Kubernetes deployment. A route, which gives you a network endpoint through which you can access and invoke the service. A configuration which maintains the state of the application based on 12-factor application principles. And finally, a revision which is nothing but a point-in-time snapshot of code and configuration. Any changes to the configuration is going to trigger a new revision. By default, Knative sends all the traffic to the latest revision. Revision also allows you to roll back into last known good configurational service at any given point of time. In this video, we will deploy a simple microservice that changes the color of your browser page and greets the user. Both the color code and the greeting text are user configurable values and set during the deployment of Knative service. As part of this exercise, we will change the configuration that is the color code and the greeting text to observe how change in configuration make Knative to roll out new revision. Let's go and deploy the Colors Knative service. From OpenShift Web Console, on to the developer perspective, I'm going to choose a container-based deployment. I'm going to copy the container image that I already have from my clipboard. And we see the image getting validated. And I'm going to leave other things to default. And as usual, go and pick Knative from the resources. Since we need to add the configuration for color code and greeting text, I have to click the deployment and drill down to the environment variable sections where I'm going to add two environment variables, the color code, the value is going to be the blue color XR value. And then I'm going to add another variable for the greeting text. That's going to be candy message. And I'm just going to say hello here. And click create. And you see the Kennedy service getting deployed in a few seconds. And let me pull this here to see the content up and running. Let's try accessing the service by refreshing the browser. You should see the browser page turning blue with the greeting text hello. As one of the exercises of this video is for us to observe how change in Knative service configuration will make it trigger a new revision. To do that, let's edit the service, click on edit, and scroll down and go to the deployment section, and update the color from blue to green. I'm just going to copy the value from the clipboard, and also the greeted text from hello to namaste and hit save to make Knative roll out a new deployment, thereby a new revision. When clicking on the service, we should see there's a new revision that's getting rolled out and Knative soon starts to send all the traffic to the latest revision that shows a green browser page with the greeting text, Namaste. And that's it. As part of this video of the series, we got ourselves familiarized with Knative serving resources and saw how Knative applies 12-factor application principles via configurations and revisions. In upcoming video, we will see how to perform traffic distribution among Knative service revisions, thereby applying principles such as blue-green and canary.